Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I'm doing this model bun on thicker curly hair. First you're going to start off by creating a middle part at the top of your head. You're not going to take it all the way back, maybe about halfway or almost halfway, but try to get as straight of a part as possible at the top of your head. Next you'll see me split my hair into two sections and create kind of layers and pull my hair. By doing this, I'm pulling it at the roots and at the ends to make sure that my hair will able to be slicked down later. So whenever I'm doing a slick bun that's low or a slick high bun, I always do this on both sides of my head to make sure that whenever I go to slick it down, I can avoid any lumps or areas that have bumps. Now I'm going to take all of my hair and guide it upwards towards the direction that I want my bun to sit. I want my bun to sit kind of high but also at the back of my head so you're going to see me use a satin scrunchie and just place my hair right there. For my gel, I'm going to use the Wetline Extreme Gel. You just want to use a gel that has enough hold for your hair type. So regardless of my curl pattern or how thick my hair is, you want to use a gel that has enough hold for the density of your hair, how thick your hair is, and your curl pattern if you have one. I'm going to take the gel in my hands and just kind of groom it into my hair. And then I'm going to take a bristle brush right after that and brush and smooth my hair down. You can use whatever kind of brush that you like, but I find that using bristle brushes works the best for my type of hair and getting a really smooth finish. Peep how I'm also using my opposite hand to smooth my hair. Right after I finish brushing, I'm smoothing my hair right over with the other hand. You are going to use as much gel that is necessary for your hair. I'm not gonna tell you to use a lot or to use a little. It depends on your hair, your hair type, and the gel that you're using. But I like to keep applying gel. I like to apply a little bit, brush a little bit, and then brush, just so that I don't add too much at once so you will see me go through and take my time and I will continue to smooth 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 my hair until I'm satisfied with how smooth it is So while molding the bun, at some point you're going to want to take the hair tie out and you're going to want to brush the hair back into the back ponytail, okay? That's really important. I find that it smooths the hair around where the ponytail will be once you finish. So you want to open your hand, your opposite hand, and brush your hair back and smooth it into that ponytail for that bun.
Now you're gonna see me take a silk or satin scarf and tie down the front and the back of my hair. I do this twice because of my type of hair, but depending on the density and the thickness of your hair will determine how often you need to do this and how long you should do it for. So typically if your hair is thicker or if you have more hair, you'll have to do this more times, but I only do it twice for me. So this is like the first part of molding my hair. I will just pin up my hair with my satin scarf and I only let it sit for like five to 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna take it out. Then I'm gonna try and mold my hair again. As you can see, my hair is molded, but it's not molded to as slick as it can be. Now on the second round of molding, you're gonna see me do my baby hairs or my edges. I don't really do tutorials on that only because I feel like it's pretty simple the way that I do mine and everybody does theirs differently. I prefer a simple way to do it. I'll show you guys how I do it, but I don't really know how to explain it. Like I just kind of brush my baby hairs. I smooth them down in the way that they naturally grow. And that's really it. But during the second phase of molding for me, that's whenever I focus on my baby hairs. Now once I finish my baby hairs, I'm going to focus right behind my hairline. I find for me that that is where I get the most frizz. So you'll see me add some extra gel and I'm gonna brush that on with my bristle brush. I have a red one, that one's a bit softer and then I have a brown one, that one is a bit harsher or rougher. So you will see me guide my hair upwards, continue to add more gel and continue to smooth my hair down before I put my hair tie on. Once my hair is smoothed and to my liking, I'm going to put my hair tie on. Now this hair tie loops three times, but I wanted to try it two times first and see if I liked it. I tried it out. I immediately was like, mm. like I tried to work with it, but I was like, ah, mm, mm, it's a no for me. So I pulled my hair through it again that second round and then I did a third loop and that ended up working best for me. After smoothing my hair down, I was trying to figure out what to do with these extra little curls. You can keep yours out. Some people like them. I don't like them on me, so I wanted to tuck them into my bun. I ran out of bobby pins, so you'll see me like lift my hair tie that's already in my hair, and I'm going to tuck my curls into that hair tie. I'm gonna smooth down my hair one last time because this is like the final step right before I mold my hair for the second and last time. So I'm gonna take my rough bristle brush and smooth my hair. Then I'm going to take that same satin scarf and those same hair clips and pin my hair down one last time. And that is it for my model bun on curly hair. If you guys are into hair tutorials, please check out and subscribe to my channel. I have plenty more of these where this one came from. I will see you guys in the next one.